Good morning, Prue Jones from Place Coastal Property with your weekly property report. Today is Monday, February the 19th. We had a cracking uh, week last week in property on the peninsula. There were 17 sales across our tracked suburbs, being Fingal, Cape Shank, St Andrews Beach, Rosebud, Tutgarook, Rye, Blairgarry and Sorrento. So some very strong results. With the exception of one property in Rye, everything sold for well over a million. Uh, top sale in Rye was 1325000 of a very charming house in uh, the Back Beach area or Rye Oceanside on Stratford Road. And um, the uh, entry price into Rye last week was a three-bedroom townhouse in Hygieia Street, which was only on the market for 25 days and sold for 818000 now, Blair Gary, there is was a standout result there um, of a boat shed which went to auction and sold for the eye-watering sum of $900,000, which I believe is a record price. But conversely, there was a very charming two-bedroom brick bungalow in Philippa Street, which sold for $875,000. Now, um, I... I don't know uh, where you would put your money if you were buying either of those properties, but I know where I would put mine. Um, Cape Shank got a mention, uh, nine Farnsworth Drive in um, the uh, Golf Links Estate in Cape Shank, sold for $2.2 million. It was on the market for some time, 224 days. Rosebud, seven sales. Uh, top sale there was 836000 sold at auction. Uh, of a property in 8th Avenue. Tutgarook, one sale, 57 Williamson Street, 978 square metres, sold at auction for 915,000. Now, a, a couple of interesting statistics. All the auctions that were offered on the weekend, there was one in Elgin Avenue in Rye, one in Rosebud in 8th Avenue, one in Williamson, Williamson Street in Tutgarook, all sold at auction. Now, is that a sign that we are starting to see confidence come back into the market or people uh, enjoy going to auctions? If uh, you've bought a property before auction, it is a very, very thrilling experience, particularly if you are the winning bidder. Uh, but it's also an event for all concerned. So auctions are starting to gain momentum again on the peninsula market. And if you are considering selling, it's certainly worth talking to an agent who is capable of auctioning your property. And not all agents are capable of auctioning. So it's it's a wise um, question to ask your agent that you interview, can they auction property? So it, interesting uh, relationship that we've seen developing over the last couple of years since the end of COVID and the rise of the cost of money. That Historically, the cost of money has always been very closely linked to the price of real estate. So the higher the interest rate, the less the capital growth and so on. But in the last year, what we have seen is a very, very interesting phenomenon occur. Now, it did occur between 2004 and 2008, uh, but it seems to be happening again. And there are underlying factors which are causing property prices to rise in spite of the rise of the cost of money. And you all know what how many interest rates rises that we've had over the last 18 months. So it's been quite painful for uh, those of us who do have mortgages. However, there are underlying factors which contribute to this phenomenon in uh, the property market, and they are immigration, housing shortages, and baby boomers cashing out of their properties in record numbers who actually do not need mortgages. And this is providing confidence to a market which by all intents and certainly uh, the journalists who uh, weekly report on property, it's defying the trend. So uh, the capital growth is still occurring in the property market and although the peninsula market is uh, has a very high percentage of secondary dwellings, i.e. holiday houses, we will see that trend start to filter into the property market here. It's certainly happening in the major capital cities up and down the eastern seaboard, and we do follow those markets. 
If you would like a, uh, a detailed report of sales or if you're after a single sale of something uh, sold nearby and you'd like to know how much it sold for, please give me a call. Certainly follow me on Instagram, uh, Prue Jones Place Coastal or Place Coastal Property. Uh, or simply give me a call 0419 352 439 and I will be delighted to help you and give you information to help you make informed decisions about your property. Thank you so much. Have a great week and we shall look forward to chatting with you next week and bringing you the latest in property results for the Mornington Peninsula.